Howdy you schnitzels, welcome back to Tomahawk. Today we are gonna review the Rhine Metal Borsig Waffentrager with the 15cm curry worst. Let's go. The Waffentrager is a tier 8 German tank destroyer that has some Slavic roots, but was the victim of Anschluss by the Germans. Let's see how you can use the derpy potential combined with German engineering. The Borsig is slow has a lawnmower engine, and has toilet paper as armor, and has a choice of two guns, both of which can be very effective. Let's focus on the 15cm schlang for the memes. This gun is pretty much the same as on the E100. The 15cm allows you to be flexible, it shoots cheap AP, expensive heat with 330 penetration, and HE shells are very effective, because of your large caliber. The Borsig is built on a Czechoslovakian chassis and gives you some Slavic DNA. Due to its squatting low to the ground, its camo rating is very high. You should use this to punish your opponents from distance. Be aware, if you choose to fight from a distance, you cannot hit weak spots reliably with your AP, and your heat shells are so slow that they are delivered by carrier pigeon, rather than actually being propelled by gunpowder. Therefore, HE is love, and HE is life. You will always do damage, regardless of your target, and if you are lucky, you penetrate your opponent, causing instant laughter from yourself. In times like these, we could all use a laugh. The Borsig is a bit like a KV-2, but just a lot more sneaky. Also, when you hit your targets, you often cause critical hits, causing fires and tracks falling off, giving you more potential to score support damage. In the Borsig, another tactic is that you can play a bit more like a second line support for your heavy tanks. You stay out of the picture, like Kim Jong-un, and reappear to do another missile test in the faces of your opponents, instantly causing either 750 points of pain, or in case of HE salty tears of side scraping bastards, your reload is just over 15 seconds, so you have to choose your targets wisely. Also, with such a long reload, you have to make your shot count. Your accuracy can be buffed to 0.35, which is actually quite good, and the shells fly pretty true to their trajectory. Once the battlefield clears up, you can start to get a louder mouth. A bit like France in the Second World War. You get closer to the action, and do house cleaning. This only works, if the battle works out in your favor. In case the battle goes like the Second World War, and your Eastern Front has fallen, you run away, and keep your social distance, and play with scorched earth tactics. You have to react early, since my grandmother with a sprained ankle will likely overtake the Borsig. The Borsig has very weak modules and the lawnmower engine likes to burn, and break once you get hit. It often happens, that both your track and engine break at the same time. That then means that your ticket to the garage is being printed as we speak. Also, the driver dies more often than Sean Bean does in his movies. In order to do damage, rather than receiving it, this is what you load for ammunition. In order to play the Borsig to its full potential, you load 10 AP shells, 10 heat shells and 10 HE shells. This gives you the flexibility to excel in any map or any situation you might find yourself in. This in combination with the turret that you are blessed with allows you to shift tactical standpoints quicker than a politician. For equipment, the Borsig does not require a camo net. If you get spotted, it's already too late. Keep your distance or find hard cover. This allows for you to keep do the following. A rammer for faster reload, a gun laying drive, to aim faster and binoculars, to see over the border with Poland. In terms of crew skills you want to focus on camouflage first, brothers in arms, come second to mostly buff your gun handling. After that you can either go for gun improvement skills or focus on repairs, to have a hope of repairing your track before the new Berlin airport actually opens. This is how you play the Rhine Metal Waffentrager Borsig. This is the correct way. Keep your distance, punish the mistakes the enemy makes, and derp them in the face with your Slavic roots. Go out there, and make the Sudaten land free again. And make sure to book a hospital bed for your driver, he gets injured more often than Richard Hammond when driving. Thank you for watching you beer drinkers. I hope you have a wonderful day. Why don't you subscribe for more gibberish, or watch some old shit, for the sole purpose of wasting time. Also thanks to my new patron Cyril for funding the Tomahawk endeavors. For now, thank you and fuck off.